This video is sponsored by Cricut. Hey guys, I'm Alexandra and welcome to season three of my rental reno. I've moved out of the tree house and into my brand new two bedroom home. I'm gonna be making over this space start to finish, room by room. I'm so excited. Am my camera ready? Hi neighbor, don't worry. <laughs> new selfie spot. Cute. This has been a steep learning curve for me. There's no more pink, I swear. Let's get started. Today's episode of My Rental Reto season, it's, <laughs> what is happening? <laughs> James, I was gonna be like, this episode of season three, but I went. One, two, three, 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 first episode of My Rental Reno season three and we are tackling the patio. It is summer all of a sudden here in Toronto so I wanted to make sure the outdoor space was the first space that was complete. Now this patio is definitely not the treehouse patio. That was a very, very special place. But I am determined to turn this into a beautiful outdoor oasis where Noah and I can dine and relax during the summer. So I am still living at the tree house, but we've come to the new apartment. Some of our outdoor furniture has arrived and it's time to build it. We are starting with this table. I bought this from West Elm. I love how sleek it is. I love, oh, hello. That's a candle, it's hot. It's like she's just discovered what a candle is for the first time. Okay, tip for you guys if you're working with a small outdoor space, put a round dining table in a corner. It's gonna free up space around it, keep it tucked away, but still accessible when you wanna eat. Sophie's here. Thank you so much to my friends at Article for sending this gorgeous sofa. I had all Article outdoor furniture at the treehouse. I have since gifted most of those pieces to my sister who also lives in Toronto. I needed a smaller set for this balcony and I love how this sofa makes a statement but is still small and still fits in this tiny, tiny space. If you guys wanna shop at Article, heads up that it is a $49 flat fee of shipping, which is amazing. That's $49 whether you order six sofas, a dining table, regardless of what your order is, shipping is 49. And if you spend more than $999, shipping is free. You guys, look at my view. Just tree and blue sky. I ordered a four by six rug, and I'm thinking it's just too small. I have a large rug here, and this is too large. I tried to put that down and it just, it looks weird. So, the rug that I have now, I love the stripes. It looks so cool. So it comes in five by eight. Let me just clarify that. Yeah, five by eight and six by nine. Now I'm just gonna measure the five by eight and the six by nine and see if those will fit better. That's eight feet, which is I think what we need. And then I can push it under the sofa more if need be. Five feet this way, which is what this is now, which is perfect. Okay, I'm gonna do the five by eight. So I'm gonna return this one and hopefully it'll arrive Thursday because that's makeover day. Looking so cute, I'm obsessed. So it's a little uh, later on in the day. I'm back at the tree house. I have ordered a bigger rug, which is great. And now I'm gonna do something really exciting. So I am going to make some custom cushion covers for the new patio using my Cricut machine. I can't say enough good things about Cricut. I'm obsessed. So I'll be using their outdoor cushion covers and I'm gonna be using an infusible ink pen. You can buy infusible ink, kind of like the vinyl that you put on fabrics, but I'm using the pen and the infusible ink can be washed. It's waterproof, which is so great. Like it just doesn't come off once you've pressed it onto your surface. 
so yeah, let's get let's get crafting. So the first thing I'm doing is starting on Design Space. This is where you design all of your Cricut projects. It is so easy to use. My favorite thing to do is go on Etsy and buy SVG files. They are really inexpensive and they're basically files that are compatible with the Cricut Design Space. I found this really fun face pattern. And honestly, this design reminds me of a lot of the outdoor cushions that are on the market right now. So I wanted to try my hand at kind of recreating a really trendy cushion cover on my own in my apartment. I am using infusible ink for this project. And once you apply heat to this ink, it becomes peel proof, flake proof, and wash proof. So that means that I'll be able to wash these cushion covers. I won't have to be nervous about leaving them outside. So I'm using the infusible ink to draw this pattern onto just a plain piece of printer paper using my Cricut. I'm just going in with my infusible ink marker and basically coloring in within the lines. I want the pattern to be solid once it's on my cushion. Once I've colored it in, I'm putting it face down on my cushion and I'm using some of this heat resistant tape to hold the pattern down. This tape is really important because you don't want your paper to move and you're also gonna be putting heat on it so you don't wanna use regular tape that could burn under a lot of heat. I'm using my Cricut Easy Press to apply heat on top of the parchment paper and the piece of paper. Okay, moment of truth, let's peel this back. It looks so good and just like that I have made a cushion cover that you could buy at any decor store and it's outdoor proof amazing I'm mimicking the exact same process that I used on the cushion cover but instead I am now doing it on coasters I am sticking with the infusible ink pen and doing some really fun patterns again using my SGV files that I found on Etsy but this time putting them on little coasters the thing I love most about my Maker Cricut machine is that this is a smart cutter. It's able to cut designs into over 300 different materials. So I've made peel and stick decals on this machine. I even use my machine for calligraphy on envelopes when I'm sending letters to my friends and families. You can also use Cricut vinyl to cut designs into materials like burlap, canvas, cotton, felt, linen. So even though you're just seeing me do one project today, trust me when I say you can tackle just about anything on this machine. It really is incredible. Cushion covers and coasters are done. I'm so happy with how they turned out. I can't wait to get them on that patio. Let's head into day two, final day of this makeover, and we're gonna style this whole space. Hey guys, it's day two of this makeover. The bigger rug arrived and I can already tell it's so much better than the smaller one. Cute. I love it. I'm so glad that I picked the bigger size. Oh, you're really bad at that. No, it's these, it's these shoes. It is. James is gonna put that in the picture. 100%. Now it's time for lights. I'm really excited because these are actually solar panel lights from Ikea. So I was originally gonna string lights like across. My landlord wasn't super keen on having the poles sticking out. I'd have to fasten them to the, to the balcony. And after like thinking about it, I was like, actually he's right because from the street, that's all you're gonna see is just like these black poles with the lights. Like it's gonna be really aggressive like in your face. So I thought this was a really good solution because these are low profile. I'm just gonna put the solar panel down here. This balcony gets tons of light in the morning. So by the end of the day, they'll be all charged. They have like a little retro feel to them. I love it. Cute! So I'm hiding all the cords back here, guys, because there's a plant going back here. Yeah, I need one more screw to go here, but look, look at them on this side. How cute! To hide the cords, I have a tall planter and I'm gonna put this baby in it. Team AG's buyer, Jenny, is a plant enthusiast. And she said this is perfect for leaving outdoors. Obviously not in the winter, but in the summer it's fine. Just gonna put it in here. Look at it. It's so cute and like tropical. So I did bring this chair from the Treehouse patio. I love this chair so much. It's from Article. I've had it for a couple of years. And I'm thinking of putting it here. That way it kind of just like 
encloses this area, makes it feel like a conversation area, and separates it from the rest of the patio. And the rest of the patio is like our eating, dining area. So fun, I love it. So fun, I love it. Finally, placing this side table, also from Article, and this is just gonna be a place for us to put our drinks. Noah was saying that maybe we should get another one of these for this side, and I don't disagree. So I might snag another one from Article, but for now, this is perfect. To complete this lounge area, I'm gonna add in a couple more plants. Again, I asked Jenny what she would recommend, and we got some more tropical plants that can stay outside. And that's what I want this balcony to feel like, like a tropical oasis. <gasps> Do you hear the bells? It's my favorite sound. <sighs> and then a siren. And then a siren. Okay, plants, let's do it. Cutie. I also have some of these pebbles. They're decorative, just so you don't see the dirt. This simple little tip makes such a big difference. Hi, neighbor, don't worry. You I'm normal. So embarrassed. so embarrassed. Okay, ready? No one cares. <laughs> Okay, so you guys saw me build this table. It's gonna live right in this corner. And I bought these two chairs from the Treehouse balcony. These are old chairs from a couple years ago. Also, before you guys say, is Noah okay with all this pink? Should I go in Oscar? Oh my God, yes, you absolutely should. Okay, so I bought a lot of pink from my old house. <laughs> and, um, <laughs> The fans are gonna wanna know, how are you okay with all this pink? It's been a negotiation, and there's other parts of the house that aren't pink. I like that answer. It's like you win some and you lose some. I also didn't tell you about those planters. Yeah, the planters were a bit of a surprise. I knew about <laughs> the chairs. Okay, well, thank you. That's all. There's no more pink, I swear. There's no more pink. There's more pink. We'll talk about the planters. This place could really use a grill. <laughs> <laughs> See negotiation, people. He gets a grill, I get pink chairs. What if the grill is pink? Mm -mm. I did think about bringing my large barbecue from the treehouse patio, but it's way too big for this space. So we need just like a little something something here. So I'm leaving this blank. Um, let's add those finishing touches. done the first space in the My Rental Reno season three. I, I can't believe it. To be honest, I was a little nervous because the treehouse patio is just the most beautiful outdoor space and I am so happy with how this space turned out. We are gonna be out here all summer long. Let's take a look at what this space looked like before. Nothing on it, in need of some love. And this is what the patio looks like now. hope you enjoyed the first episode and I can't wait for all the episodes to come. We run out the floors. I'm going to be tackling the staircases. I have a closet tub in my bathroom so you better believe that bathroom makeover is going to be epic. Make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any 
episodes from this series, releasing them every week. Thank you to Cricut for sponsoring this video and helping me make some custom cushion covers and posters for my outdoor space. And as always, I will see you guys next week. Bye.